How are you everybody? Uh, thanks for tuning in. Today I am in a beautiful backdrop here of Shanghai. I'm uh, just visiting for the week and I want to talk about what's going on here in China. There's been a lot of talk and a bit of press about this um, technology of being able to grow a tooth-like substance from your own urine. So there's a research lab here in China and they've um, obviously studied a lot about urine and got some stem cells out of it because urine has over 3,000 ingredients and we only know about 2,000 of these ingredients so far so we're always discovering new things. So this discovery was uh, about producing a tooth-like substance which is the end result is to try and grow teeth from your urine. It's actually placed into a rat as well which is obviously done in a laboratory to grow this tooth. Now, whilst this is still in, you know, much of its early stages, it's been criticised quite a lot by um, some English professors who say this is just quite ridiculous and there are better ways of being able to produce teeth. Having said that, they haven't come up with one. So, you know, they're fast to criticise the aspect of, you know, urine and growing teeth out of urine, but are they actually doing anything about it? Of course they're not. So I'm probably a bit jealous because, you know, it's all about grant money and things like that. So the concept of growing teeth is a really good thing. And I think even though we're at the early stages of development, um, the beauty of this being a natural form is when this actually gets perfected, you get to put that tooth in your gums and your mouth that your body will accept it because it recognizes it as your own, because it's got your own DNA. And this is pretty important. The reason why it's so important, I think, rather than put a fake teeth in or, you know, implants and all these other things is that it's, you know, A, it's a foreign product, you know, metal and so forth. But if you're part of Gerson therapy, for instance, or someone who's trying to do organic juicing and vegetable raw food diets or, alternative healing methods, what happens is when you do these kind of diets, your body starts getting purer and cleaner and rejects any foreign particles. So that means if you've got titanium plates in your knees or, you know, in your gums, in your mouth, um, screws and pins and things like that, if you've lost your teeth or needed to have those things put in there, your body will try and push them out. Now, whilst it'd be impossible to actually get those out of your mouth because they're probably screwed into your jawbone, it would create many problems like inflammatory problems where you're going to get a lot of swelling and pain and so forth as, as this battle goes on. And this is quite important. So having these kind of teeth made from your urine is really great. So if your body accepts that, and yes, it's not as hard as a normal tooth and so forth, but it's probably better than having no teeth. And I can speak for that. Uh, uh, there you go. At the moment, I've got a plate as I was involved in an accident. So I would love to have one of these teeth in who knows in how many years before the development is perfected by all means. Let me be your dummy, whatever you want me to do. I'll be elaborate. I'll give it a go. I'm not afraid to try it out. Well, the storm is coming, so I was going to go down the coast and um, film on the river's edge and with a beautiful backdrop, but uh, that's not going to happen anyway. So, um, yeah, that's my point of view with growing teeth out of urine and the importance factor of body rejection. Okay, see ya.